Hello my people, today I want to show you where to find hash and the at sign. These are two important keys that are necessary for daily computer use, especially on social media platforms. On a wireless keyboard, this one is called Equitech, but literally it's for any wireless Windows keyboard. But this is when you want to use the Mac. You can see this is my Mac. So unfortunately, my Mac keyboard is having a problem. And uh, the problem is here with this space button. So this space button, when you want to use this space button, it doesn't work. Um, and uh, also the next thing that doesn't work is this back button or what we use for deleting something it doesn't work so before i fix this keyboard i've decided let me quickly because i still have to use the computer for editing and all that let me get a, a wireless keyboard so i've gone to the shops and i bought this equatech keyboard uh, it's a good keyboard definitely like you can see there's got all this stuff uh, but unfortunately if I try to use the hash sign and write something, say for instance, if, 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 I, if I wrote something like this, you can, I'm writing something. If I want to put the hash, which is that there, if I want to use the hash there, if I, look, at, look at what he's writing. This is what he's writing on my keyboard. So it's not the hash, right? So where is the hash? Because, of course, I need the hash for many things. Um, hashtags, you have to, to use a hash. So the best way of knowing where that is, is treat this keyboard as if it was your Mac keyboard. So where do I usually find my hash on my Mac keyboard? It is this button here, which is Alt. Alt. And then I go and I press that button there, three, or the one with three and uh, Stalin pound sign. So Alt three. So if you come here and you apply the same rules, just use Alt and the same thing there, there three. So oh, zoom, zoom, come on, zoom, yeah. Alt and that three. I Alt and that three there. So let's try it. So Alt three. So let's see. Three is working when I press three. Three is working. Uh, let's try. Of course, Alt doesn't show you anything when you press Alt on itself. But you can see it there. You can see it there. So, but when you press both, Alt then 3, guess what you're getting? You're getting the hash. So Alt plus 3, you get in the hash. So that's where to find hash in any Microsoft or any keyboard that is wireless when you want to use it with your Mac computers on a mac keyboard to access at mm. like when you want to use the email guys you just press shift which is there the arrow that is looking up and then two which then gives you the at sign for instance if you want to send an email uh this is different from this keyboard uh like you can see where the at sign is is there uh, but when you press the shift and you press that, you actually don't get the at sign. So if you want to get the at sign on this keyboard, on Windows keyboard, you need to come here and press shift and then two. When you press shift and two, you will get the at sign. So you still use that keyboard as if it was your Mac keyboard. 
Otherwise, if you try to use like a CV to Microsoft, they won't be compatible. So to convert it, you have to assume it is a Mac keyboard and it will, will work for you. Hopefully, uh, guys, you're happy with that. And at least you don't have to have some problem with that. Um, please, if you like the video, kindly subscribe to our channel. We teach children even to understand how to use Google um, as a teacher. Um, so apart from that, thank you very much, guys. And please do not forget to subscribe.